Hi everyone, uh, I'm Arches and I'm here to talk about design. Uh, it's a simple web application that we've built to help people manage and keep track of shared expenses. So uh, let's take the, uh, this particular scenario uh, where we have like three roommates who are sharing an apartment. So every month there are different kind of bills and expenses that are split between each other. Like you have house rent, you have groceries. You have house rent, you have groceries. Uh, then you have maintenance bill uh, that you split between each other. So how do people keep track of such expenses nowadays? Uh, what most people will do is that they will maintain a simple notepad where they, uh, whenever anyone paid for a common expense, they will just make an entry. Now the problem with this approach is that uh, once in a month, all of you guys have to sit together, go through the entries that you've done manually and figure out, uh, verify them and figure out who is going to pay whom how much. Now, this is not really a fun thing to do, especially if you're doing it on a weekend. So you end up spending like one hour or two hours on this. Uh, the second approach that people take is uh, somebody will take the initiative and spread up uh, and set up this elaborate spreadsheet which tells you exactly okay how much I owe my friends and how much my friends owe me. Making entry is super easy. Uh, but the problem is uh, now uh, there will always be someone in the group who is not that actively involved in tracking and managing these expenses. So one fine day you realize that you are running low on cash so you will go and tell your friends hey I think it's time to settle up. So they will again go back to the spreadsheet, verify each of the bills, and then once they are convinced, they will settle up, which is which again becomes kind of tedious. So these are the things that uh, motivated us to build design. Uh, the idea was to simplify this whole process and uh, resolve these issues that we saw. So getting started is super easy. Like you can create a group for your apartment, uh, adding your friends, and next time when you have a bill associated with this group, you pull up this simple form, fill in the details and uh, like report a bill. So we have this simple feature in this uh, form like where whenever you enter a bill, an email notification is sent to all the group bill participants. So what happens is that they will receive a very clean formatted email with the details of the bill. And the advantage is that uh, like all of the guys gets notified, people are on the same page and next time when you want to settle up, they don't have to go back and look into all the bills and verify them. So what happens to all this data is that uh, we give you this simple dashboard and by within a single glance you can get to know okay, how much money you owe to your friends and how much your friends owe you. Plus uh, you get to know the standings in different groups. Like So you can create a group for your roommates, you can create another group for uh, say your office colleagues with whom you go out for lunch or hang out a lot. So like this has this flexibility which you don't get in, in a Google spreadsheet or Excel file. So uh, to summarize what we are trying to do here is build a very simple application where you can easily enter all your shared bills. Uh, you can also enter like informal debts and uh, debt, say money you lent out to your friends or borrowed from them. And this will keep the, keep, do the job of keeping everyone in the same page and keeping it updated. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the URL is www.design.com. Do check it out and uh, let us know your thoughts. How will you make money? <laughs> um, so uh, we have this plan like uh, what we w hope to achieve with by this uh, site is that everyone will uh, maintain their this, such, kind of, such kind of informal uh, transactions and all. So what we plan to do is probably at some time uh, integrate with a payment gateway and people if, if they want they can settle up uh, using this gateway and we take a small uh, service charge on that. So that is one idea. Yeah, so we are still trying to figure that out. Um, one thing that we are doing is uh, we are building a Facebook application also for this. And uh, we know our target segment is between 18 to 28 years of people like young working professionals or students who share an apartment so on. And most of these people are in colleges or in like offices like Infosys, Vipro, TCS, like there are so many offices out there. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, we did check out uh, Bill Monk and the reason we uh, decided to go ahead with this is because uh, we felt that the user, we could do a better uh, job in the user experience. Like one of the barriers is that people find it lazy to make entries. So this has to be super easy. So we studied Bill Monk's flow and found that it takes just too many clicks to make make a simple entry of a bill. So those are the things like if you try out design, uh, we have done, uh, we have tried to at least make it more easier for the user to enter this. How many users do you have right now? Uh, we launched two months back. Uh, right now we have just 300 registered users, I'll be honest. And 20-25 uh, of them are actively using. Uh, but we do plan to... Uh, like we are still working on user acquisition right now. Wouldn't it be better if you put an iPhone, iApp 
and just charge a dollar everybody would download and that's the money model yeah that's uh, in the road map right now we are uh, mobility with them yeah Paying exactly and immediately yeah it's not going on a web or something yeah uh, we, we have that in mind like we're building a mobile version <laughs> of a site or a mobile application using which people can make an entry that's integration yeah uh, so basically uh, that that second in the roadmap lab where you can um, I mean, we haven't uh, thought through it, but you can actually type in a simple formatted manner and the bill gets entered in the site. Okay, okay. Uh, like two friends are already trying to settle their expenses. Okay. Right. Now you're the third partner, right? Wait. Two partners are trying to settle their amount okay. and you are asking for a money. Why will he come to you? I mean, uh, it's more like it's a like, uh, yeah. It's a simple yeah. logic. In an yeah. scenario, yeah. if I have to settle between me yeah. and if you ask me, give me money, yeah. why will I give you one? No, it's more like a convenience uh, charge. When you, of course you can any day. I mean, you are keeping the, using this site to maintain records, and if you want to uh, settle up using this site, we are uh, we are going to charge a nominal fee. That's that's it. You can any day go out and uh, log into your banking account directly and pay. So that's one idea that we have. I mean, uh, no, it is really hard to convince because even if you, even colleges, yeah, it is really hard. <coughs> Still evolving yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you could give it to users for free and have somebody else pay for it. Or advertising or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Coupons, gift coins, or things yeah. like that. There can be a lot of. Have you taken feedback from your other customers? This is your last one. One last question. Yeah. You said out of 300, only 25 are using them actively. Have yeah. you gone back to those other? 275 and ask them what is the problem? Why they just registered and they are not using it? Yeah. We. Um, we did send out some mails, some feedback came in because the site was slower. To, and recently we revamped the UI. So we two months back we launched it with a very crude UI because we just wanted to get the product out, get some feedback. Uh, so one of the uh, feedback was that I mean they were not convinced with the UI and the flow, initial flow, and how the user experience was. So we went back to the product, did some improvisation, and we now have a better version ready. Uh, so we are planning to do some reactivation campaign to get those people back on the site.